Hey everybody, this is Jason Rogash. I just wanted to make a video today. I found this funny to me. Uh, it's not going to be funny to everybody. I mean, the, most of the people that are going to watch this video will find it funny. But a lot of the people that are going to be searching for this video um, on YouTube, first of all, hello to you. And secondly, you're not going to find this funny. But I find this enormously funny in the bigger context of everything that's going on around us. Texas wants to repatriate a billion dollars. Well, actually, it's not quite a billion dollars anymore, but it's a little under a billion dollars from New York's uh, Federal Reserve. A uh, billion dollars of gold. They want to bring it back to Texas and they uh, and gold bullion. Um, it uh, it's actually it's not um, it's fifty six hundred bars of the precious metal. Uh, the gold it turns out isn't at the New York Fed. It's in a rented vault in Midtown Manhattan, and it's worth about six hundred and fifty million dollars. Regardless, Texas wants to bring her home. Uh, the gold it turns out, uh, and and it's all being sponsored uh, by this guy. Um, he's a Republican lawmaker whose name is Giovanni Capra Giglioni, Capra Giglioni, Capra Giglioni, something like that. Um, uh, he said, in quote, hey, listen, Texas is unique. It's stable. It's strong. And now we can show that by letting other states and individuals know that, hey, yes, Texas has a billion dollars worth of gold. Does your state have a billion dollars worth of gold? <laughs> Texas is so fucking backwards. This is a state that wants to teach creationism. This is a state that's run by the Hunt brothers. This is the state that's run by the Koch brothers. And we'll get to that. The the This guy, um, this Republican lawmaker, Capra Giglioni, uh, and the new governor, um, Abbott, who we'll be just talking about a little bit later, they both came up through the Tea Party. Um, they, and the Tea Party, of course, is 100% Koch Brothers sponsored, essentially, um, and these big industry guys. And that's what Texas is. That's who manipulates the gold and silver. It comes from Texas. That's who Ted Anderson and Midas Resources and Alex Jones and, and all the conspiracy theorists that sell gold and silver. They originate largely. This. I know my Minnesota. But Texas is where Alex Jones is, and he's the main salesman of gold and silver. I don't think anyone would disagree with that, and the conspiracy uh, field in, in general. Um, you know, it's funny, that, and the goal, and the gold isn't even really the state of Texas's. It's actually a, um, it's the, it's somebody's. I believe it's the Texas, the public employees of the University of Texas. It's actually their money. Uh, it's part of a, a fund. It's part of a trust fund. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, they want this money back. They want this this gold. Um, now here's the problem: is that um, Abbott, the Republican governor, who doesn't want to talk about this, um, they're gold bugs and they're detractors of the central banks and governments and issue money without without promising to exchange the cash for gold or silver. They they want a gold standard, and they're completely bought and sold, like I said, by the Tea Party and the Koch brothers. That's where this is coming really from. Um, and it's nothing new. Texas is kind of, they use Texas as paranoia, obviously, because Texas used to be a, a country and it, blah, blah, blah. We know the history of Texas. What I think is interesting and funny about this is that they don't have a place yet to quite store it. Um, it's only $650 million. Uh, they want to build a new and have, now they're going to have to actually, they about a million a year keeping it in, in this vault in New York. Now they're going to have to bring it home to Texas and protect it in Texas. And of course, who knows how much it'll cost to keep it protected every year? Who know? It's it's just ridiculous on top of ridiculous. It's a ploy. I th obviously driven by the by the Koch brothers and their gold and silver manipulation, uh, massive gold manipulation emanating out of Texas, and they've gone so far as to be able to convince lawmakers to actually get a bill passed that would bring home a billion dollars of gold. And this is more of a this is a symbolic move in the stupidest way possible but what it does is it gives the gold market it says look who look what texas is doing and what if uh, next is south carolina and what if next is florida and what happens if oklahoma does this and what happens if arkansas does this um it's ridiculous it won't spread any past texas because texas is a joke the income disparity in texas is absurd i mean if you look at it it's one of the largest income disparity states uh in the um united states uh there is extraordinarily rich people and extraordinarily poor people like there is in every state but it's 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 not great in, it's really bad in texas and this is, again, this is gold bugs delight. This is moron stackers who think this is a good idea. This is paranoid conspiracy theorists who don't know what the fuck they're talking about, don't understand monetary policy, don't understand that they're being manipulated into trying to get a gold standard. So gold will stay at a high price 
by the very rich people who own the gold, who own the gold mines, who own the gold bullion, who own all of the gold. That's what the gold standard benefits, the person who owns the gold. And you're, you're like I said, I've said this before, you're 50 ounces. If, you're, if, you have, if you've collected 50 or 30 or 20 ounces or whatever the hell, it won't mean shit. That's not what they're talking about. These people are talking about billions of dollars a day in gold trading. And that's, this is just another part of it. Uh, they've convinced the state of Texas, the stupid people who are all Tea Party, who this conspiracy, Tea Party, you know, creationism, Christianity, religious right wing nonsense, manipulation uh, to get you into thinking that the gold standard makes sense. Devon Mises school, uh, uh, the Ayn Rand nonsense of libertarianism that isn't that it's just a complete fraud and joke and doesn't benefit anybody but the one percent. Thank you for listening and have a great day.